Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here is Van Amsen. Today we are working uh, with Java uh, on problem non-overlapping intervals. So Java has some powerful feature that make it excellent uh, to tackle this particular problem. So the problem provides us uh, with an array of intervals and we uh, are tasked with defining the minimum number of interval and we need to remove uh, uh, rest of non-overlapping. Yeah, so to make it uh, non-overlapping. So uh, let me explain it. So for example, yeah, we have some test case and we have uh, intervals like one, two, three, three, four. So interval one, two, interval two, three, interval three, four, and also interval uh, one, two, three. So as you can see, the uh, interval one three is uh, overlapping, so one three is overlapping with uh, one two and two one, and basically uh, though, for example, two is exclusive, so uh, one two and two three are non-overlapping. So if we remove this interval from our list, so this interval, uh, then we have uh, non-overlapping three intervals, and we need to remove the minimum number of uh, interval to make those intervals non-overlapping. So uh, return output should be one and what we can do here. So we can use a greedy approach and greedy approach will be great uh, for this particular type of problem where we need to optimize something or minimize. So uh, the essentially we will sort the uh, intervals based on the uh, and time and then iterate through the intervals to find the and remove uh, the overlaps. Uh, so uh, let's implement it in Java. Yeah. And I will explain everything right away. So first, if uh, interval len is zero, so edge case, we just return zero because we don't have anything overlapping. And then array sort intervals a, b, we sort on the end, so a, b, d1. And num removed will be zero. Previous interval will be interval and And for i, one less than interval length, plus if intervals less than previous interval, well, then and uh, then new num removed will be incremented and else previous interval and interval, the new interval. Okay, so finally we return number of removed intervals. So this is our implementation. Okay, so uh, let's run it and see if it's working for this uh, example one and other test cases. So hopefully, yeah, everything's work perfect. We can run it for uh, unseen test cases and hopefully it will pass as well. Okay, so uh, it's working perfectly. And our implementation beat, yeah, 70% with respect to runtime and uh, 49, almost 50% with respect to memory. So all is good. And with our interval sorted, uh, yeah, we defined a previously interval end to keep track of the end of the previous interval and another variable num removed uh, to count the number of interval we have removed. So we start a previous interval at the end time of the first interval uh, of a num remove at zero. And now comes the main part of algorithm. Yeah, let's make it visible. So we iterate through the interval, starting from the second one. And if the start time of the current interval is less than or equal to the end of the previous interval, uh, that means we have an overlap. So we increment num removed. And if there is no overlap, we just update previous interval to the uh, end time of the current uh, i uh, 
interval. So excellent. Uh, as you can see, our uh, code implementation work also in Java, and this is efficient solution uh, using greedy uh, algorithm. And I hope this walkthrough was helpful and you have given uh, yeah, more confidence in tackling uh, similar uh, problems. And now you know how to solve this one and to reuse this knowledge in other uh, task, uh, coding task in Java. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more coding problems, uh, walkthroughs. Uh, and remember, if you have any doubts or question, uh, yeah, uh, feel free to ask a question in the comment section below. And until next time, uh, keep practicing. Happy coding.